Hello and welcome to my review for Early Man, the latest Aardman animation film, the stop-motion animation company from the UK who produced the Wallace and Gromit films, which I've never seen. I've never seen a Wallace and Gromit movie, ever. And I'm British, I know, I don't know what it is, I just never caught them, the shorts, the features, nothing. Uh, what can I say, the only Aardman films I'd seen were Chicken Run, and Shaun the Sheep the Movie. Now, Shaun the Sheep the Movie, I would never have watched in a million years until I heard someone say that it was amazing. I thought, really? Maybe they just really liked Shaun the Sheep. Then someone else said it was excellent. Someone else said it was fantastic. I thought, what's this, the fuss about Shaun the Sheep the Movie? So we watched it. And I loved it. I thought that was amazing. It was basically a silent film. No dialogue and really great, you know, physical, visual humor. So I had high hopes for early Matt. And I was a little bit disappointed. It's a good film. And you have to kind of keep in mind that the, these are family films too. And I think for kids, Early Man is fantastic. Uh, the stop motion animation is gorgeous. And it is set in the you know prehistoric era. We follow Early Man as they enter into a football match. It's very British in that sense. We have an opening prologue that shows the dinosaurs and so on. Very funny line at the beginning where the camera kind of comes in, we see dinosaurs fighting in prehistoric era, and it's just like, you know, so many millions of years ago, near Manchester. <laughs> that cracked me up, and I thought, okay, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. And I did enjoy it. There were some funny moments, but uh, as far as how much I loved Shaun the Sheep, the movie, for the humor, this one, not so much. But again, for kids, I think it, it really would work. So we're in the prehistoric era, and a very funny gag, basically, where an asteroid hits the, the planet, and creates this fairly sizable crater, and at the bottom there's just the remnants of the asteroid in a football shape. So these cavemen go down and they're kind of picking up the ball and say, oh, hot potato, and then they end up kicking it. So they start kicking it around and they invent football. We flash forward a few ages where we're still kind of in the prehistoric, the Bronze Age, and we have a group of um, cavemen living in the crater where the asteroid hits. And, you know, a forest, a lush forest has grown in the crater. I really like that location, just this crater with this whole settlement inside it. And again, the stop motion, I, I just, I love the uh, the discipline that surely must go into films like this where it's just so time consuming, but magical to watch in motion. Uh, in particular, at the beginning, we get this kind of slow kind of pan through the forest where the cavemen live, and it's just, it just looks stunning. As with most things like this that you kind of forget as the film goes on, but I, I kept trying to remind myself and kind of marvel at how how great this film looks, and uh, obviously the, the character animation, or the character designs I should say, which go along with the animation, are very cartoony and very Aardman-esque, they have their own visual style which I like, they keep to it and it works, um, but you can still get good expression out of it. So we follow Doug, a young caveman, uh, and this this kind of, uh, I, I guess a, a higher society, you know, that, that kind of live in the badlands outside of the crater. Uh, that they're a bit more advanced, I suppose, and they're working with bronze and stuff, and things are a bit more technologically advanced than in the, the crater with the cavemen, and they look down at them as the cavemen, the simple cavemen, all that kind of stuff. But the valley has stuff they want to mine, the, the bronze, the ore, all that kind of stuff. So they basically kick all the cavemen out. So Doug, this kind of very kind of chipper, upbeat guy, he wants to save his people, he wants to get his, his home back, he wants to get the valley back so they can just live there in peace, that's all they want. And he goes to the, 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 the Bronze City or whatever it's called and uh, realizes they're big football you know, <laughs> fans and they, they hold these big you know, football matches and stuff. And we have, I forget the guy's name, the bad guy of the movie, this very uh, flamboyant guy who just you know, takes all the money and taxes people for coming to see the football games. And so Doug realizes they do these football matches and stuff, and he challenges them to a football game. My cavemen versus your best team. I think they're called um, Real Bronzio. <laughs> and there's some funny kind of football-related gags, like Early Man United, which I think maybe football fans would enjoy more than perhaps me. I'm not really a football guy at all. But I don't think that really plays into it too much. I was able to enjoy it beyond that. I didn't need to be a football guy. And it follows the same, you know, kind of blueprint that you'd expect. I really enjoyed it. It was it was good fun, but I lost interest a little bit towards the middle. Uh, it was nice. It was just nice. And I was kind of blown away at the end when the credits rolled. Uh, Tom Hiddleston plays the bad guy. Uh, Eddie Redmayne plays Doug, the main character. Um, I really couldn't tell by both of their voices. I have to say, Rob Brydon played a few roles. I love Rob Brydon. That, you know, that made sense to me because he's such a chameleon with his voice. 
Uh, overall, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was good, but, but that's about it for me. So leave your thoughts down below if you've seen it or if you have any recommendations for me of other Aardman films I should check out beyond Shaun the Sheep the movie and Chicken Run. Uh, if there's a particular Wallace and Gromit film that is the kind of, I don't know, that there must be one that's kind of held as the best one. I, I'd like to go and see it. I'd like to kind of re-educate myself on on those films that I probably should have seen when I was growing up as a kid. So there we go. That's my thoughts on Early Man. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, he's alright by me. <laughs> Apart from the fact he throws cans and calling into a tree. <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, he's really cool. But he's not quite as cool as you. Cause...